What's going on guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another review. I think this is, what, my fifth day of uploading regular content? This is weird. I'm actually treating this channel serious. But yeah, guys, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe to my personal channel. I think I'm very close to 7K, so it's all small goals. Please like and subscribe. It's West Ham United 3, Chelsea 2. West Ham United have done the double on us. God knows how I'm even saying this to you with a straight face. This is, I'd say, typical Chelsea this season. We played so well against Manchester City. We, our form was excellent in that game. Granted, we had a bit of a drop against Leicester City, but we still saw that game out of a 1-0 win. And today, it just feels like we've taken two steps back. I mean, that defence, we might as well have had four holograms in defence. Maybe three. I feel like I'm being a bit unfair on Azpilicueta out of all four of them. But the other three, we had more holes in our defence than Swiss cheese, if we're being honest. West Ham played today, and it was such a predictable style of play that we were going to expect. And... They're in a relegation dogfight, they'd be happy to take a point out of their game. They sat 10 men behind the ball and just sat there and waited for us to make mistakes or be lax. And to be honest, they were making mistakes as well. Um, there was a good chance from Pulisic early on in the second half off a Tammy Abraham dummy and a decent pass from Asbel Equator that found itself going a lot further forward than it was expected to. But in defence, we were just so sloppy and we made so many mistakes and... West Ham on the counter-attack. Antonio looked like a threat for no reason. It was like Rudiger was just being so unnecessarily rash. Rudiger had a terrible performance today. I'm going to be straight up about it. Rudiger was so trash today. Andreas Christensen did not look like the same defender from the Manchester City game last season, last week. That was shades of JT. This was shades of, I don't know, Gilabodji or prime Khalid Boularouz or... There's two other trash defenders we've had, the prime David Luiz or something like that. It was a terrible performance from him and he was just getting caught out so many times. Defensive um, shape and solidity was, it was an absolute disaster class. Our organisation was a complete shambles today. And I keep falling back to what Alex said in his fan cam about two weeks ago in the Villa game where he said, forget habits, we should go for a centre back. And I keep saying today... Today might have actually caused a complete change in the direction of our transfer activity for the summer because that was so shambolic. We got caught so many times on the counter-attack. The first goal is just another typical issue that we've had over the last couple of seasons, which is set pieces. Set pieces, we've been so poor defending them. And the first goal just ruled out for offside for the Antonio offside, which took about five, six minutes of VAR to call as well. And they were being so precise to the angles as well, which was weird, but at least the goal got disallowed. But William makes it 1-0 with the penalty and we look like we're going into half time. In a stable position, we got the first goal at least. We got something that we can build on. And we just fall apart. Like, what was it? There's another set piece that we seem to fall apart with. Oh, I'm just going to get the lineup up quick. Yeah, it was another. The first goal was just shambolic set piece defending again. As for Equator, I don't want to give too much stick to because I think he struggled handling Suchek throughout the first half in set pieces. And when it comes to 50 50s, and it's a test of strength, if you lose out, then you lose out. I don't really feel like I can blame As for Equator for that. What, who I can blame though is Tammy Abraham and Kepa. Kepa, first off, of lack of organisation in the six yard box and lack of confidence coming to show itself yet again. He's running out to collect the ball, right? And then he doesn't notice Kante and another West Ham player in between both of them. He runs straight into them and then tries to come back to make up ground. And he's caught out of position when the header comes forward. Tammy Abraham as well on the line. If he just stands there. He doesn't try to do any stupid shit on the line like he really did. If he just does something normal, if he just stands there, if he just clears or if he tries to take a touch, anything calm and the ball's getting cleared and it's not going into the back of the net. But I don't know what he was trying to attempt. And it's just another case of mismanagement on set pieces. Then the second half comes up, comes out, and we look like we've learned nothing from the first half defensively. Antonio drops on the floor for counter attack, and he's not marked when the ball falls out to the right hand side. Rudiger completely ignores him and starts ball watching. Christensen falls back as, a, as the closest defender to the far post, looks back at Antonio and ignores him again. And the guy's got a free range of space when he gets the ball back in in the middle, and it's 2 1, and we've made another mistake defensively. 
William pulls it back with a free kick, which he's done really well for. And the one thing I want to say, because I don't want to sound too negative, William and Pulisic were amazing today. William and Pulisic are going to be so few pissed off coming out of this match if we're being honest. William, if he's playing for a contract, is doing a brilliant job here. And the last two weeks he's been excellent and after giving William a lot of stick, you gotta be honest when he has a good game and you have to be fair. And the guy's had a brilliant couple weeks. He's leaving Chelsea on a good note. But the team ain't doing well either. I mean, okay, so we pulled up to 2-2 and we start looking a bit more promising. Giroud's come on, Loftus-Cheek's come on. We look a bit more positive. As Azpilicueta's crosses. A bit threatening, Giroud could have got a better touch on them, but he'll be frustrated with that. Loftus-Cheek looked a bit, he looked positive, but whenever the ball came close to him, you could see him getting a bit worried, and you can tell us that little Achilles injury and the mental impacts that come up with it, and he's going to take a bit of a while. You see the same thing with Hudson-Odoi, so with Loftus-Cheek, you just have to be patient with him. Defensively, though, we flopped again for the third goal. Uh, what's his name? Marcus Alonso on the turn looked so poor and I get he's slow and I get pace isn't the best part of his game but if you're not even attempting to run up then I can't really help you and I can't defend you. The guy barely started running, he was jogging when they were starting their counter attack. Uh, Rudiger got left on his ones in defence, Christensen bowled forward. And Rudiger as well, even though he was left on his ones, his one-on-one -on -one defending was just poor. Yarmolenko is one of the most one-footed players in the league. And you let him onto his left side. For what? And the whole, the whole game, it just looked so stupid defensively. And we just kept making so many errors. Uh, I'm just going to go straight into the player range. Kepa. Uh, I mean, that error for the first goal really kills it for me. And... There's a lot of those in his game, and this season, I've said it many times, it's not really his fault, foul Paul, we've been defensively, but even on this game, it's another mistake that's led to another goal. Kepa, I'm going to give a 5. As for Equator, probably the best defender out of the lot. Decent crosses going forward. The most threatening out of the four, I think. I'm going to give him a... Mm, do I give him a... F no, I'll give him a six. I'll give him a six. I think he was the best defender out of the lot. Rudiger, he's getting a straight three, and I think he's lucky for that. It was a terrible performance. He was getting done up all game. He looked really rash. Whenever Antonio was on him, he did not look comfortable. It was just a disaster class, really. Three for Rudiger. Christensen... Christensen didn't look much better. I think he was a bad defender out of the two, but I still don't think he had a good performance either. He was caught ball-watching for the second goal. It didn't look like the same Christian so we saw from a week ago. It was just poor from him. I'm going to give him... Uh, I'll give him a four. Alonso, four as well. I'm tempted to give him a three just because he threw the game away for how poor he was coming back for the third goal. Uh, balls coming in off the left-hand side weren't even that great, to be honest. There were some decent ones in the first half. But I think Azpilicueta was a lot more promising. I'm going to give Alonso a four as well. Kante, bit all over the place. I thought his long passing wasn't that bad in the first half. I just thought Tammy Abraham was struggling to get on the end of them. Defensively, still breaking up the play well. Uh, it's a, I'm going to give him a five. I don't think it was the best performance from him either. Kovacic, I thought he was good today. Dribbling, ball control, getting the ball out of tight spaces. He was still solid. I'm going to give him a six. Ross Barkley carried the ball pretty well, but defensive, but I'm um, not defensively. When it came to his end product, it was the same old Ross Barkley. So he's going to get a five. William, I'm giving an eight. Yeah, I thought he was promising going forward. Tracked back well, responsible for both of the goals. Good set piece for the second and cool composure for the first. Yeah, good performance from him. He's getting an eight. Pulisic, I'm going to give an eight as well he's going to be my man of the match i thought most of the attacking play came from him and i've said it before in the last game as well when he starts building momentum he's a very hard player to stop and his dribbling was immense and the close control got himself in a good couple places he had our best chance the first half as well before the penalty so it was a very promising performance from him as well tammy abraham didn't apply himself today and this was a big big game for him like with, with timo one and now officially a chelsea player 
Tammy Abraham really needed to needed to present himself for Chelsea and show exactly why he should still be getting considered for game time. But now with a performance like that, questions are going to be asking, do we need to take a step back with Tammy Abraham to take a step forward? Wasn't really much impact from him in the first half. Second half, not so much as well. Not a, best, not a great performance from him. I'm going to give him a four, I guess. Let's go to the subs. Mason Mount um, applied himself well in midfield. I feel like the end product didn't come off as he wanted, but it wasn't the case that the decision maker was being poor. I think it was just really unlucky on his part. I'm going to give him substitute appearance. I'll give him a six. I don't think he was that bad today. Loftus Cheek uh, passed the ball well. I thought he was. Lacked confidence a bit on the ball. He didn't want to hold on to it for too long. I still think it's that Achilles injury coming back to haunt him a little bit. Uh, five for me. I think he's still coming off that Achilles injury. So, yeah, I'm going to give him a five. Olivier Giroud, very unlucky in the six-yard box. If he had a better touch on about two or three of those chances, he would have had a goal, in my opinion. Olivier Giroud, I'm going to give a five as well. Terrible performance in my opinion. We This was our best chance to get top three and we have bottled it. Uh, there'll be plenty of other chances. I mean, Leicester's form has been horrendous since the time of the lockdown. But don't let this be a turning point in our season because Manchester United are creeping up on us. Wolves are creeping up on us. We now have basically let Leicester City off the hook, which is annoying, but we move. Let me know your thoughts slow down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my personal channel. Take care and I'm gonna go billet safe.